Hey everybody, we are here again. Now we are doing Practical 2011. Now this one is quite a unique one because it is based on temperature. So, as you can see, um, we are providing a sample of solid P over here. Alright, so a sample of solid P in a stopper test tube. So when added to water, it dissolves. And interestingly, this is an endothermic process by which heat energy is actually removed from the water. This causes the temperature of the solution to fall. So then we add P to the water, and as P gradually dissolves, then the temperature will fall. The temperature will fall. Then um, <clears throat> we are going to try to estimate what the true minimum temperature it would have been if P had dissolved instantaneously. Because you can see over here that P actually is a little bit of a <clears throat> it's a little bit granular. Okay, yeah. So it, it's not like like fine salt. It doesn't dissolve instantly. You know. All right. So. What we're going to do is just record down the mass of P first. They have given it to us. It's 5.00 grams. Alright. Alright. So what we do first, right, is we stick 50 ml of water into this thing. Alright. So we're going to pour it into the styrofoam cups. Okay. And then, we have actually measured the water that was in there. When it was in the beaker before. And it was at 30 degrees. Okay. So we're going to record that down. It's 30 degrees. 30.0. Alright, 30.0. <clears throat> and then, what we're going to do is start the timer over here. Right? Yeah. So that's at t equals 0 minutes, 30.0 degrees. And then we are going to start. Beep. Okay. We're going to begin. <clears throat> then, supposedly, we will continue to stir the water and then measure and record its temperature at 1, 2 and 3 minutes. Okay, so let's do that. Yay, let's stir the water. Alright, so at the 4 minute mark, we're actually going to throw um, some of P in, okay? Then once we throw P in, we actually have to start stirring, okay? We actually have to stir the, the container, um, and do not measure the temperature at 4 minutes. But then we, after that, then we measure once every 30 seconds, okay? So, we are reaching there, we're going to take it out. Okay. So, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Alright, chuck the whole P in. Alright, now let's do this. We are supposed to stir using the thermometer. So let's do that. <coughs> okay, and at 4 minutes 30, you can quite clearly see temperature has dropped to 26.0. Interesting. All right, I'm going to record that down. Yeah, now we have a, a clean 23, I think. Yeah, I'm going to call it a 23. Okay. Now comes the time where um, the temperature might start to stabilize and then might go up. Okay, this is the seven minute mark, and if you read the paper properly, you can see that um, basically the points seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve are the ones that you need to take note of. So seven minutes would be twenty three. Once again, yeah. So yeah, it does look like it's stabilizing. So now we'll only take uh, one reading every one minute. So you can see over here, yeah, it went from 20, um, 30 to 29.5. 20, then this one, it was a steep drop, but then it will start stabilize, it start, it started stabilizing at around seven. Then maybe it might go up a little, that's the estimate, yeah. All right, 
Let's continue with the stuff. All right? Okay. Alright, in the 12th minute, and yes, I do believe we can call this as a 23.5. Alright, that's what I'll do. Okay, this one is now a 23.5 reading. Okay, and there you have it. Alright, so in the full explanation, um, I'll draw the best bit straight line over here, and then I'll draw from 7 to 12, somewhere over here. And then I'll link them both to the um, fourth minute line over here. Okay, and then I'll get the T max minus the T min, and then I'll get the uh, maximum temperature change. Okay, thank you all very much. That was 2011. Bye bye. Bye bye.